Zardo has been an anchor of this rotation all summer long, and he hopes to keep it up today against the Detroit Tigers, facing him for the first time in his career and pitching on a mound that he has been very comfortable on this year, a 232 ERA. Matt Veerling leads it off in left field. Andy Ibanez at second, Spencer Torkelson at first. And a backhand play by Birdie. Loads and throws and gets Veerling by a step. Andy Ibanez now. Segura lost his footing, and Ibanez is aboard. And you're right there. You can see right there. Segura did lose his footing there. Had to take an awkward fall there. Here's Spencer Torkelson. Instead, a little bit better. The ground ball to short, and the 6-4-3 double play. Well, a lot of similarities between the two pitchers today. Tarek Skubal can overpower you with his fastball. He throws that four-seamer. He's got a nasty slider as well, holding opponents to a 143 batting average. It's Luis Arraiz, five for eight in this series, has not scored a run, though. Rolls one to second for Abanez. Brian De La Cruz. There is his first today. And that's just blowing De La Cruz away with the 97 mile per hour fastball. The Garrett Cooper, he's the designated hitter for the Marlins today. He struck him out. Back to back punch outs to end the first for Tarek Skubal. So a walk and an error as Luzardo in trouble here in the second inning with nobody out. Got the first half. Rogers looking for something else. First strikeout, and here comes Miggy. Jesus was a big fan of Miggy as a young Marlins fan himself. And Lazardo told me getting to face Miggy, that is surreal. There's the bouncing ball to third. Close play at second is safe, so it goes down as a 5-4 on the out of Cabrera. The runners move up to second and third. So here's Gary Carpenters. And the slider misses in the dirt, so the bases are loaded. Second walk of the day and inning. And it'll bring up Zach Short. Still one good pitch away from getting out of this thing with still a scoreless ball game. 25th pitch of the inning is the last one he needs to get the strikeout and work out of a bases loaded jam. Two walks, but two strikeouts in the second. Matt Veerling draws a leadoff walk, second straight leadoff walk for Detroit. Abanyas, right center field gap. That'll bounce. Over the wall on a ground rule double. It'll be second and third for the Tigers with nobody out here in the third. Spencer Torkelson. Off the glove of Birdie. Into center field. Veerling scores. Torkelson wants two. The throw comes all the way to the middle of the diamond. Good base running by Torkelson. Tigers have the lead. Here's Torkelson at the infield, and he hits the ground ball. It's sharply hit to Birdie at shortstop. And Gary Jones really wanted Bunyas to come in a little bit harder because I believe he could have scored on this ball here. Green on the first pitch. A rise on the backhand. Comes home in time to get a head first sliding to Bunyas. What a throw from a rise. What a tag from Fortes. And they cut off the second run. And Riley Green hits the ball right to a rise. A rise backhands it, then throws it home. And then Fortes. He makes sure that he gives a lane to Ibanez. You can see where his foot is. He gives him a lane to slide, and then he's over to make the tag. Outstanding tag. So now first and third, one away, and Baez at the dish. Lace to center. Torkelson will score. Green to second. It's an RBI single for Javier Baez. 2-0 Tigers. Two away. Here comes that man. He's going to time one of those fastballs up. Down the left field line. Time that bad boy up. That'll bounce against the wall. Green will trot home. Here comes Baez. Cabrera, two-run double. How about that? Miggy's just such an intelligent hitter. When Lazardo's throwing him a heavy dose of fastballs, he was thinking, I've got to get the bat head out in front. Well, Lazardo throws him that slider, and it's a hanging slider, and Miggy catches that ball out in front, and he drills that ball down the left field line. Two big RBIs there, and look at the big fella. A second straight 1-2-3 frame for Tarek Skubal. He has been on point. So far on a Sunday afternoon in Miami. He's down on strikes. That's the fourth strikeout for Scooble today. Avi Garcia, his second plate appearance of the day. And a fly ball out toward right field. Going back, going back, and it's off the base of the wall. Avi Garcia on his way to second and now third. Stand up triple. Missed a homer by a couple of feet, but welcome back, Avi. Javi Garcia's had a couple of outstanding at-bats here against Schoolboy, and the rest of the team really has not been able to do anything. Uh, that's a ball at the top of the strike zone that he gets on top of and nearly hits the ball the opposite way out of the ballpark. 
to first base. Guriel racing in the bag, and he'll get there safely. Torkelson was way off the line. Scoobel took a while to get to the bag. And Guriel is going to have himself an infield RBI single. It's four to one. Two balls and two strikes to Segura. And a base hit left field. Three straight hits for the Marlins. That'll bring the tying run to the plate. Nick Fortes. And now Fortes to left. That'll get down. Here comes Guriel. Fortes is out at second base. He's immediately calling for a replay review. A run does score. He used that swim tag. I think he might have gotten in there. And the Marlins will ask for a challenge. He knows he's safe. You don't ask your manager to challenge that quickly unless you know they missed you. Outstanding at bat here by Fortes. He laid off some breaking pitches at the bottom of the zone to get himself in a three run friendly fastball count and boy did he rip that ball down the left field line. Ball in the field is overturned. The runner is saved. Miami retains the count. An RBI double for Fortes gets that right hand in long before the tag and the Marlins offense wakes up. Second and third one out for Garrett Hampson. And that is a fair ball into the corner. Segura scores. Fortes scores. Hampson on his way to third, but that ball got caught up in something, and he'll have to go back to second base. But it is a game tying double for Garrett Hampson. How about these bottom feeders? The Marlin 7, 8, 9, and really you can go to 6 in Guriel. They just get it done really on a nightly basis. That's a breaking ball right up the heart of the plate, and a terrific at bat by Hampson. Now, well, Javi Garcia tripled his last time up. There goes Birdie. It goes off the glove of Rogers. Birdie never slid into second, so he's on his way to third and caught in between. And then he gets hung up there with Baez. Or check that with Short, and Birdie's going to be awarded third base. I see you, Birdie. I see you. What a brilliant move there by Birdie. Baez knows it, too. And obviously, A.J. Hinch is wondering and asking the umpire, does he not think that Birdie intentionally ran into the defender? But if the defender's in the way, you can't run into him. Oh, he didn't go out of his way. He just stopped. So runner at third and a 2-2 count on Avi Garcia. And Avi delivers a base hit, and the Marlins take the lead. Two hits in his first game since late April, 5-4 Miami. That is going to bring up Miguel Cabrera with second and third and one out. Walked him, and the bases are loaded for Kerry Carpenter. Rips one through the hole on the right side. Clutch at bat from Kerry Carpenter. A two-run single, and the Tigers have the lead right back. Well, again, here's that slider that's been given Kerry Carpenter fits all day, but he does a really good job in this at bat, staying close just long enough to hit that ball in the, in the hole there to drive in a really big run. If you're Hampson on first base, we need Coop to uh, hit a ball in the gap somewhere. Cooper out toward left center field. This one's going off the top of the wall and out for a two-run homer. There's that gapper, Mr. Cooper. A go-ahead two-run homer, and the Marlins are back in front. This is a welcome sight. It's a breaking ball that's just spinning at the top of the strike zone, and Coop supplied all the power. Gene Segura, base hit and run scored in the fifth inning when the Marlins plated four runs. Segura, center field, way back, turning and looking green, a home run, Gene Segura. He killed that. There's that insurance run. Got a two-seam fastball right over the heart of the plate, right above the belt buckle, and he absolutely smoked it. We welcome David Robertson to away. But dude, with a big home run yesterday, it will be the 27th time this year that the ball club has come from behind to win. And they do. It's a Marlins win. A strikeout for Robertson. His first save as a Marlin. And the new guys part of the decision today. The win goes to Lopez. And the Marlins pick up a come from behind win.